It's M13 here. For those of you that have been watching my videos for a while, you might recognize this park. This is the giant field I used to always walk my dogs in. I did videos in this park on multiple different topics. Um, I used to I used to live over here. That's where I used to live. Some people figured it out just from watching my videos. I had actually one fan who was like a, a bit stalkerish. He came and was walking back and forth in front of this building asking people if they knew who, any white guys that lived around here. And uh, he actually saw Brad and recognized Brad and walked up to Brad and was like, Oh, hey, aren't you Brad? I recognize you from M13's videos. And it all sounds all flattering and all that. But then once, as soon as he, 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 he's, he was literally stalking me, and then he meets one of my friends that he recognized from my videos. And, the, and one of the first things he said to him is, he kind of seems like an asshole. Is, is, is he an asshole? <laughs> and then Brad told me that the guy said that. And I said it to the guy who was sending me constant messages and uh he goes oh well that was said to him like uh in private conversation he shouldn't have told you that uh so do you want to be friends or what <laughs> but you know like i'm the first to call myself an asshole but still like for him to say it he said it to someone else too like he was walking he, he just liked talking about me to people yeah, so they're doing like drone racing over here. And remember the basketball courts? I don't know if you guys remember it or not, but there's basketball courts and they've changed them. And they've added this. That's Taiwan, man. Like they got like a they have badminton volleyball, I guess, or badminton over here. And then they, they added this on to the basketball courts because like not enough people are reusing them because Taiwan's too hot. So they just added a giant ceiling, a giant shelter for the basketball. So even on a hot day you can play in the shade. It's amazing Taiwan like this. They are constantly, these trees are new as well. They're just constantly, it's like every year, every neighborhood just becomes better, better and better. There's more public services, more parks, more, and then the parks that do exist, every couple of years they get like redone and upgraded and new features added. And it's just amazing living in a country that just gets better and better and better. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys this park, and then the rest was just a <laughs> an offshoot. Offshoot, an off-branch of the conversation. You know what I mean. Hi hey guys, I'm the Genie. I want to show you one of, my, one of my favorite places in all of Taiwan. It is a pet store. There's my dog waiting outside. She didn't come in. And this is why. Because of these three guys. And these aren't for sale. Hi guys, what's up? Look at this guy. What you doing, crazy bird? What's that? What's that? Hello? Hello? You want to see yourself? Yeah, let's change, I should change the camera so they can see themselves. And this one's saying ni hao down here. Hey, baby! What's that? And then this guy makes a clucking sound. And usually with parrots like this, you have to be careful because they can bite. You can bite, can't you? If you wanted to, you, yes. You could draw blood if you wanted to, yes. But you were nice. Hi, buddy. Hi. Yes. So yeah, it's, it's rare, you know, like my whole life I've always liked parrots, but every parrot I've tried to get near, they attack you. Most of them are vicious. This one's friendly. This bird loves attention. He sticks his head right out of the cage, which is cute. This one's new. I'm not familiar with this one. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you want to bite something? Here, you can bite my camera case. Yeah, I'll give you it. Yeah, that's good, eh? What's this? You're my... Oh, yeah, you got something. Oh. Yeah. What's that?